Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, you know what that means. Time for a Market Outlook video. Uh, looking at what we could see coming this week in Viva Ultimate Team. And basically what we need to talk about today is uh, the second batch of footies cards. That's what I wanna focus on today in this video. And if you're noticing I'm wearing a different hat, my current usual hat that I wear is in the washer. So if you're worried about me wearing a camo hat, don't worry, I'm here my you know camouflage you can see my head all right regardless batch number two of cards that are coming out this week um i'll go and show you guys this web page right now we've looked at this looked at this a few times this week batch one is out until july 17th that is wednesday so basically wednesday they're going to input these second batch of cards second batch on july 17th um and that will be the second batch of cards that we get. Now, since we're getting the first two batches, and the third batch is including top players from the first two, I think this second batch is gonna be something pretty special. So if you haven't started stacking packs, I would recommend maybe starting to stack a few packs because I think there's gonna be a team of the seasons included in this. I think Headliners, FFS, um, and Carnival and Team the Knockout Stage, I think are all going to be included in this. But Team of the Season cards especially, I think you're going to get some extra hype because I believe they're going to be included in this second set of cards. So basically what I want to talk about in today's video is kind of stuff going forward in terms of what we could see market-wise with some of these cards that will come out in Batch 2. So it's going to be a market outlook, but we're going to really focus on those cards that are going to come out on Wednesday. So first of all, Team of the Week related items. What stuff's gonna be coming out into packs for batch two? My guess is FFS. Um, basically all the special teams, special card items that we have not had in packs yet. I'm guessing FFS, I'm guessing headliners, um, I'm guessing um, carnival cards right here, and also team of the knockout stage. Now I'm not sure if they're gonna entirely have another batch of 200 cards if they're going to split it up all between those or if there's going to be even more than 200 cards in packs this time that's what i'm really curious to see um, but obviously the second batch has it's wide open and, and i honestly feel like they're going to leave some stuff out but i really think like they're going to have to put team of the season cards into this next batch if they want to make it bang and that's why i really think this is going to be a pretty hyped up batch because in the fine text over here some of the best special items from foot 19 excluding team of the year so that makes me think that team of the seasons are actually going to be included in this i know some people were thinking about that kind of going back and forth what's going to be there what's not going to be there i do think team of the season cards are going to be re-released into packs on this batch number two so first off what i want to, what I want to look at is batch number one if you're somebody who has been looking at to buy a card from batch number one, any of these team in the group stage, foot birthdays, ones to watch cards, um, I want to take a look at, especially one guy in general, Cristiano Ronaldo, because a lot of people want to get this ones to watch card, and he actually has had some decent amount of supply on the market, 3.192. You can see since he came into packs on the third, which is when this promo started, um, he's down here. 3.2, 3.1 million coins. And right now, I'm looking at this card for a possible buy for my team. Actually, personally at the moment, 3.192. You see there is his cheapest version on the market with a couple open bids out there as well. Now, he is in packs until Wednesday, but some of the stuff might rise out of packs. You know, the Ronaldo might rise out of packs. Some of the foot birthday items might rise out of packs because these are very rare positioning cards for the foot birthdays at least. And we have seen these cards move and price all year long when they go out of packs. Some of them are even up now as we speak um, and are not really being affected because of the weekend league sell-off. Like look at this Salah card, 179,000 coins. He was 130 from the Alonzo SBC panic. Some of these cards I do see rising up a decent amount and it's gonna be an interesting thing to see how much these do rise out of packs. Probably the most meta ones of course will rise the most, but there's gonna be a lot of hype on this batch too that I want to start talking about now as well. But if you're looking to get a card from batch one that has dropped a ton, just put it in your team and forget about it because getting a, a card to supply that extra amount coming back into packs for a second time, um, maybe a third time for some of these cards, uh, is just a crazy amount of supply in the market. And we saw with all these cards, they dropped 
in a flash on Wednesday when they first came out. Now, now we're talking set two here, all right? So FFS, headliners, all that jazz. I'm not entirely sure if all of these cards, so let's say uh, let's say they drop, let's go Team of the Knockout Stage, for example. Let's say they put some Team of the Knockout Stage cards back into packs. Let's take a look at, let's say, um, this, um, I don't know, look at a really good example. Look at Ronaldo, all right? Maybe this Ronaldo gets put back into packs. They don't put the team this season back into packs. I'm not sure why my internet is being slow in loading this right now. But let's say this Ronaldo gets back into packs. 3.3 million coins. Last week, when you saw this card, man, this, this isn't a great example, but let's look at somebody like uh, Griezmann. Griezmann's foot birthday card. From what happened, what I think is going to happen with these cards, the cards are going to get released in set number two. They're not going to have the straight decline drop off that the cards from set number one had at least right away i think it's going to be more of a gradual drop because these cards from set two look at this he goes into packs right here on this day and he goes down from 700k on sunday to 368k within literally four days two days being in packs i don't think that massive of a drop is going to happen with these cards because people had a lot more saved packs for the first batch of footies cards, and I don't think there's that many people saving packs for this second batch. Maybe a few people, but it's not as widespread because we had so many weeks, we had a couple weeks to save packs until the footies promo came up upon us, at least a week or so. This time around, I don't think as many people are thinking about it. Unless you start to see stuff throughout the rest of this week, I don't think that the stuff that gets released in the sec second footies batch is gonna drop boom like that on the first day. Some of the lower rated cards would, like let's say they do release Team of the Knockout stage, I would expect this ZH card to go really low, uh, this Giroud card to go really low, and you know a lot of these, maybe this PK card as well, I would expect that one to go really, really low um, first day, just because that's gonna be more commonly packed, the pack weight on that's gonna be higher, uh, and stuff like that, but I think the real drop in these cards prices that you're going to see, at least early on, is going to be from weekend league rewards. So again, weekend league rewards from this week. I have a couple games to play as of tonight yet, just to get gold three, which is what I want to get, um, because the gameplay this weekend, for me at least, has been pitiful. So I'm not going to stress about that too much. But these cards, the second batch, are going to be in weekend league rewards this weekend, and I do see that as the main hit of supply from these cards because I don't think a lot of people are saving packs. Now I would recommend you save packs because this batch two has so much more promise um, to include some crazy cards in it than batch one did, especially with team of the season cards. Even if they put like a few of these team of the season uh, Premier League cards in here, like a Hazard, like an Aguero, a Sterling, or a Salah, you know, something like that, I would love Van Dyke to be back in packs. I would love to pack him or a Sun with some of those cards being in packs, then you would see, I think, some people going out and try to stack the packs and do a lot more to grind packs for this batch too, um, if that is possible. Another thing that we need to think about is possible repeatable upgrade SBCs. We never got them for this first batch, and I really hope that we do get them for the second batch. I hope that EA does not wait to bring them out until the third batch. That would mean we have to go through like two weeks or three weeks, actually, actually almost four weeks of footies promo without repeatable upgrade gold packs. Now they're going to say, well, we put out the team of the week pack and we put out the UCL packs and we put out the ones to watch upgrade old packs. Yes, you did, but we wanted the 81 plus or the 82 plus, And I think they're not putting those out just yet because um, they want people to really drain their coins on them. And right now they think they're draining coins on the 84 plus. 81 plus team of the week which they certainly are if you look at the 81s to the 84s on the market uh they're pretty expensive so again we're going to be getting more sbcs like this this week we have so many more flashback sbcs that they could re-release so many more sbcs like this throwback headliners that they could release all kinds of stuff like that a lot of possibilities for them to re-release sbcs um for people to get packs and for people to get cards on the game as well. So far, they've done a pretty good job with player SBCs and a decent job of valuing them as well. But again, the one, main thing that I did want to focus on today was stuff that could be in the uh, secondary back batch of packs. The team of the season cards, I don't think they're going to drop as much. Some of them are going to drop, you know? If you're really scared, you're going to take a hit, sell them, 
get your coins a lot of them have not dropped honestly they haven't dropped too terribly much yet but let's say this gabriel jesus card goes back into packs 88 rated striker he just got a second man of the match but let's say this card right here goes back into packs for batch two i could see this being 150k just like that and that's something like if you had that in your club and you want to get the coins out i think that the corner balls the uh, headliners Team the Knockout Stage and FFS cards have more room to drop than some of the Team of the Seasons do because Team of the Seasons have way better stats than those cards. They're newer to the game. People would rather use those than rather use these in some of their teams. Um, so I think some of these lower level cards, Carnivals again, um, Headliners, FFS cards, uh, yes, there are some good ones out there, but I think they these cards have more room to drop because they're older, they have lesser stats, and... Um, they're going to be packed more often than probably the team of the season cards will be. However, EA decides uh, to structure the set number two. So again, if you have any of those cards, Carnivals, um, FFS, I would look into selling them as soon as possible because it doesn't seem like right now a lot of people are just panic selling these cards and thinking that they're going to be included in set two. But I would probably try to get them out and stay on the safe side just in case they are. And... Um, you know, a Neymar like this at 2.6 million coins. We already saw what happened to this Neymar being included in packs. He went down a ton. I think this 96 Neymar, if he was in packs this week, that would follow suit. Now, I would love it if they put the 98 Neymar back in packs. But that just seems, you know, who knows if EA is going to go that far to actually push the limit on this footies promo and give us that good of stuff um, for the packs. So I'm intrigued to see the biggest thing for me this week is to see what comes out on Wednesday in packs because yes, we have all these SBCs. Yes, we have packs that we can save up, but it really all just matters on what they re-release in packs because right now at the end of the game, we're just trying to pack sweet stuff to have fun and to finish out the game on a high note, do some SBCs, um, and, and finish out the game. And almost, this is almost like a look back on FIFA 19, this whole footies promo, is kind of almost a look back and wow, wow, we had this Robin SBC this year. Um, we had this, um, the other SBC, like the Bale Champions League or the Dive with the Wii's, you know, SBCs that we've already gotten that have come out that they're um, best of SBCs, basically. It's kind of a look at those SBCs and just kind of a year in review of FIFA 19 almost. So I'm really hoping to see they put out some sweet SBCs um, for the second part of the footies promo as well. So again, I think it's an opportunity if you have some of those cards that could be included in batch two, take your coins on them. Coins are always precious. And uh, even at the end of the game, there's a lot of crashing of the market. We saw with all those cards that were in the first batch. Like I pointed out Ronaldo, I pointed out Griezmann. Even some lower rated cards like um, like a, a Foot Birthday Witzel went down to like 29,000 coins. Um, crazy stuff like that. That card used to be 150k at one point. So crazy stuff like that. I would expect more of those movements on Wednesday and into this next weekend in the week as people open up their rewards, open up any packs that EA puts out through SBCs, and um, those new batch two cards are on the market. So I'm excited to see what those bring this week. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.